everybody, it's Emma here. Let's talk today about how to play slow music. <laughs> um, so, you probably already know that a skill of playing with internal singing is the key to successful developing piano technique. It enables you to control the evenness of fingers in fast tempo as you're able to control finger muscles in your palm. To reach high speed and velocity in playing, is able to play with the help of full body weight with light hands. To develop the most soft, delicate touch and the most loud, rich and full sound without striking keys, is able to balance your touch and the amount of weight while playing. And the last but not least, to achieve fluid and effortless way of playing is you don't have to keep unhealthy tension and hands any longer to, to control your playing because everything is controlled with internal singing. So that was about technical part of playing. Now, of course, what differs a breathtaking pianist from a mediocre pianist is not only the amount of time one spent practicing, not the age of starting playing piano, and not even the technique one has achieved, but how much one can convey through playing, how much expressive, and uh, I mean not a fake expression, as was lots of gestures and mimics, uh, but uh, truly expressive through the sound, through the sound movement, through the breath, um, how much expressive in this way one can play. And any professional pianist knows that one can judge the skills of playing not by how loud and fast a pianist can play, but by how much is expressed, is said through playing slow and quiet music. So today I'm going to give you some exercises that any students or even teachers can use in their lessons. So here we go. The nuances of intonation. All you need to do uh, in all exercises is to sing and play different intervals. So I'm going to show you just one interval today, but <laughs> you can do it with any interval. Now, uh, let's get started. So I'm actually very excited to finally make this video because as I know, nobody really teaches that and yet it's just genius in my opinion. I mean, as soon as you try it, you might feel the same. Uh, so it's all about how we default singing with movement with sound and resistance, intonation, varies depending on the imagined timbre, color, dynamics, distance, structure and emotions. And how all the nuances in your internal singing affect your energy, sensations in your muscles, your touch and your tone. Uh, you can easily hear it when I play slow or quiet pieces. remember and kind of always check on that is how light empty with no energy with no will your hands are while playing only in this way you will be able to convey through playing all your ideas all the nuances of intonation getting response from the piano when nothing is on the way so always remind yourself relaxed hands are crucial in this exercise and also, just one phrase about relaxed hands. Relaxed hands are not heavy hands, so this is not relaxed hand. This is even more tense hand than just doing nothing. Relaxed hands are light and empty horses, just like a channel, like a, it's just like a bridge, basically, between you and the piano. 
So we're gonna work with one interval uh, for the next hopefully five ten minutes. So bear with me. Uh, it's all about how in differently imagined in my mind sound would affect my singing and playing and pay attention um, in my singing uh, how it affects not only the color, the timbre of separate notes but also the path, the distance in between notes, how those vibrations would be varied depending on different color in my mind. Uh, this is video basically it's all about this and eventually these are at least 30 or 50 uh, different nuances that uh, a pianist should have in order to be a master pianist, not just moving hands quickly <laughs> and playing clear and fast tempos. Okay, so let's say, let's start with, first with a movement. So if I sing just uh, straight, glissando straight, uh, Makes me feel pants. <laughs> now with movement to the left bow. Much better control, much better legato. Let's go to the timbres. Let's say, okay, this is my own voice, right? Let's say this is the beautiful vocal voice that I could imagine and recall. Uh, imagine that I am mm, using st uh, string group of instruments. Much softer. That's why I love it so much. And if I imagine something like a trombone or tuba, <laughs> so that's why I don't like to use this um, timbre because it creates a very sharp tone. Maybe sometimes you can use it, but not. That's not the, the best one. What else? It's, for example, sound texture, and I imagine in the water with that. Really makes me feel like my hand has no bones, it's a fishy hand. Uh, so, you see, already you can feel the difference. Now, imagine that I'm singing, I'm going to use my voice for the next uh, examples, the timbre of my voice. Now listen without weight and with weight. Playing without weight. With weight. Much more powerful with very little effort. Now let's go to uh, different harmonies. So this G E gonna be part of C major. Beautiful bright harmony and E minor. Okay, I think quite a good difference here. So I imagine my voice in C major.
because I have different sensation on the tip of my fingers. Let's go further. Let's take every harmony in different dynamics. C major, piano. I want to show you actually some, I'm going to present you a little experiment here. I always say that when we imagine piano, we need to imagine it without reducing the size of the tone. Because sometimes, you know, it's very natural for us to start imagining a little bit sharper when we want something softer. In this case, if I make making it in my imagination, I'm saying and play it looks this way. Uh, give a stiffness. And when I play, it's not really comfortable. Now, if I keep the same shape, size, but just reduce transparency, or actually I'm better say, increase transparency to 90 degrees. If I sing, you can see that it will be bigger, I would think. And when I play, my hand would feel much better too. It really brings much more freedom to my hand. Let's do the same with E minor. Now with Forte, also a <laughs> little experiment. So if I am gonna sing, even when I imagine this in C major, I'm gonna imagine very loud, even when I imagine super rich and full, not uh, close and sharp, and if I sing without any weight, it sounds this way. I wait to the same imagined sound. <laughs> now I feel that I have enough breath to express that loud sound. So weight is very important in playing forte. But you see, it's all connected to your breath, to your energy. So let's make E minor also in um, forte. speech. So how different distance in between us with their different meanings would also affect our intonation and play. For this purpose we're going to play this one. And when we sing, uh, we're going to sing right left. Okay. Now, uh, so Let's say we're going to sing second and third. So second uh, meaning is um, uh, more tense, more painful, uh, uneasy uh, interval. And third is more open, more beautiful. Basically, it's a love, romance, mm, harmony. So you see? how different it is. And the 
same thing we can do in C major. And then E minor. really F sharp for E minor, but okay, let's take, let's do this actually. So, let's see, and imagine this in E minor. said that before second doesn't mean that you can only use it in minor second could be a felt also in major uh, but with a little bit different nuance of emotion the same with the third third not necessarily major it can be also felt as a beautiful sadness in minor now let's go to the structure let's see the phrasing let's see how different and um levels of energy, distribution of energy, also affect singing and playing. <coughs> Excuse me. So, mm, let's do like this. So this one would be our block. Okay? And everything we're going to bring to the last interval. So let's sing and play. C major. interval more important and then the rest goes down uh, from this point. beginning, development, rising to climax, climax, and uh, continuation. C major. Oh yeah, and we're gonna bring everything to the descending part. Okay? Little bit of phrasing here. <laughs>
the point is you want to play better you have to sing better and not just again very abstract we say you have to sing better you need to know you need to know how to sing better which tools you need how to work how to feel through what what to feel how to feel you know what to imagine um that's a guide for you that's the example <laughs> all right i hope uh, that was interesting and see you soon bye bye